Last time we talked about why leaves change color in fall. Now they're all on the ground. Do you know that this layer of what we call leaf litter is actually a valuable part of the nutrient cycle and home to as many diverse organisms as a coral reef? Many of the organisms in leaf litter are invertebrates, bacteria, and fungi that are decomposers. They break down the litter into humus, returning nutrients to the soil to be used again. Next time you're out in a wooded area where leaves have been accumulating undisturbed for years, investigate. On the top of a layer of leaf litter, it will be largely whole, crunchy leaves that are fresh fallen. The next layer will be consistently damp and partially decomposed. The bottom layer is smooth and dark colored. Throughout the layers, you will probably find a variety of insects, worms, slugs, and some small vertebrates. Without the supply of recycled organic matter, soil quickly loses its nutrient content. Think about it, all these plants use nutrients, and if it's not being constantly replaced, the soil will become quite infertile. Not only does leaf litter make up a large part of recycling nutrients, but it also provides a shelter for many critters that could not survive or reproduce elsewhere. Countless spiders, caterpillars, and bees spend the winter in leaf litter. Vertebrates depend on leaf litter too. Salamanders thrive in the damp litter where plenty of food can be found. They are not often seen because they must stay beneath where it's consistently moist because they breathe through their skin. You've probably seen one of these on the forest floor, especially if you stir up the leaves. This is a red eft. It is the juvenile form of the red spotted newt. Larger vertebrates such as birds also depend on leaf litter as a rich food source. If you leave leaves on your lawn, birds will come to scratch through them and find a tasty meal. Some birds depend so much on the availability of leaf litter and vertebrates that a decline in these insects will cause a decline in the bird species population. The wood thrush and the eastern towhee are examples of this. They forage primarily on the forest floor. Fallen leaves are an important part of a healthy ecosystem and they support biodiversity in numerous ways. Perhaps now you may better understand and appreciate the cycle of life that is taking place right beneath your feet.